Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear children, my dear students. How are you? I hope you're enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class that is English for grade one. And we are learning unit four. It's a story, the boy who cried wolf. Today is lecture five and we will, today we'll read and understand the text and it's page number 30 and 31 of your book. Before this, in your previous class, English for Grade C, you have practiced to write a word or a sentence while describing a picture. So you practice describing of picture. Today we'll practice more and we'll predict story by looking at the pictures in the text and we'll use pictures to increase understanding. These are uh, today's SLOs. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, Surah 5, verse 119, Allah will say, this is the day when the truthful will benefit from their truthfulness. For them are gardens in paradise beneath which rivers flow, wherein they will abide forever. Allah being pleased with them and they with him. That is the great attainment. Yes, my dear children, did you notice truth is such a big virtue that just because of truthfulness, Allah will ask the people, you are truthful, enter in paradise. And this is the biggest achievement. Paradise, to reach to paradise is the biggest achievement. So the benefit of being truthfulness is such huge. Whatever we experience, the benefits of truthfulness in the world are little one. And the biggest one Allah will give on the day of judgment, that is Jannah. So what else we need? That's why this verse is a great motivation for all of us. For what? To be truthful. Always speak truth and never tell a lie. Never tell a lie. Because telling lie, Allah does not like. And how we will reach to Jannah if we tell lies? That's why be truthful no matter what. Right? Okay. Why I'm telling you this? Because this story is also about the same thing. Let's find out what is that. Okay, look at the pictures in this story and predict what this story is about. All right, this is what we are going to do. On page number 30 of your book, this picture is given. Let's try to find out what this picture is telling us. Okay, there are sheep and there are small tiny house. It means the sheep are on a height maybe on a hill, on a mountain, because mountains are also there. And this boy is sitting, and maybe these sheep belong to him. He is the owner of these sheep. He brought them on a hill. But look at his face. He is thinking of something. Right? Am I right? It seems he is thinking something. But what? Mm, no. Can you tell me? Maybe. Let's find out from the next picture. On page number 31, again, the same boy is there. Sheep are there, the same place. And boy is laughing. He is laughing. Maybe he's happy. But these people are angry. Look at their faces. They are angry. He is furious, too much angry. It means this boy said, or did something which made these people angry. Because in last picture we, uh, we find there was, there was nobody around. But these people all of a sudden they came and they are angry. Why are they angry? No. Okay. What the next picture is telling us. Oh, oh my God, look at there. There is a wolf. And this wolf is eating a sheep. Oh my God, and the boy is really upset. He's crying. But nobody is around. He's crying. 
he want to save his sheep but nobody is around to help him oh ma that's sad why it happened maybe when this boy was happy and other people were angry now he is upset and they are not around him okay now let's read the story and find out what we thought or predicted is it correct let's start reading on page number 30 open your book all of you and start reading with me once there was a boy who looked after the sheep on a hill okay what does look after mean looked after means to take care okay so what this boy there was a boy yes he's a boy and he used to look after his sheep on a hill so till here whatever we thought that is correct like this boy has these sheep and he used to take them on a hill but next one day he said to himself because nobody is around so he said to himself i am so bored what does bored mean feeling tired and unhappy because something is not interesting oh my god so we were right he is thinking of something and what is thinking he is thinking i'm bored oh my children here want to tell you a muslim can never be bored of you know why because if you have nothing to do what can you do in first unit i told you yes we can do zikr say allah akbar say alhamdulillah so these things make us happy and will not let us bore boring is something which is not associated with muslims we are not bored ever okay so here we were right this boy is thinking and he is talking to himself and he is saying i'm bored so just for fun i will cry wolf wolf so what he thought he thought just to make fun just for fun i will cry in loud voice i will speak wolf wolf and people will come to help me when they will hear a boy up on the hill is crying a wolf is there so what the people will think they will come to help the boy okay this is what the plan he thought what happened next so as for his plan so he shouted shouted means to speak aloud speak in high voice high volume and at the full of your volume what he shouted wolf wolf and you know wolf is a dangerous animal it's it's a wild animal that's why many villagers came to his help who the villagers are who were living over here in this village that is down there in there was a village we could see the houses so these people from down the houses come up the hill to help the boy okay these they are villagers now we know who they are they are the villagers who lived down uh, in the valley they came up to help the boy i have told you many things about this story in the introduction lesson uh, if you remember that's well and good otherwise you can go again and watch that video again to understand better but still here are you clear okay let's move on ha 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 he laughed my god people came to help him and he's laughing and and said it was just a joke what does joke mean something said to make others laugh oh just to make others laugh you say something we don't do it because our prophet hasid muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam never did it so to make people laugh say something is not good 
But here it's more, uh, you know, dangerous because he said a lie to make them laugh. So he said, what he said? It was just a joke. What does it mean? There is no wolf. It is just a joke. All right. That's it. Now look at the picture. He is laughing and saying it was just a joke. Till here, we, we will read today and rest of the portion we will read tomorrow. Okay. So did you enjoy reading? Good job. And definitely with you, I also want to know what happened next, but that we'll read tomorrow. For today, it's enough. Now it's time for your homework. Read the story again, what we have read in the class, and find out naming words. Okay, find out naming words from the story and write these words in your notebook. This is your homework. All right, and here I have given you a worksheet. Again, I have a message for my fellow teachers with this video lecture in description box. Links have been given. Lesson plan is there. This worksheet is there. PowerPoint presentation is there. You may download it. You may take a brain and you may modify it the way you want so that you can convey the message, convey this lesson in a better way to your children. All right, yes, my students, your teacher or your parents will give you a printed form of this worksheet. And what you are supposed to do, look at each picture and write their actions. Everyone is doing something. Look at the picture and beneath over here in these lines, you may write what this boy or this girl is doing. Right? That's it for today. And what we did, we predicted the story by looking at the pictures. We read this story. We compared our predicted story with the text. And we realized that with pictures, we can understand the text in more easy way. So in this way, we achieved our SLO's predicted story by looking at pictures in the text. And we use pictures to increase understanding. These are today's SLO's which we achieved. And we'll practice the same SLO's tomorrow. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed learning. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson with the rest of the story. Till the time, take care. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.